Alrighty, hello everybody, welcome back to some more Dragon Ball The Breakers. <laughs> so, um, I know, I know I, uh, I do this, uh, but I have an excuse this time, so I'm gonna say it. Uh, I didn't, I didn't post a video yesterday, uh, which is really freaking unfortunate, because my, my fucking, my internet was out, so I couldn't... <laughs> I couldn't get on breakers to play the games and I couldn't and even if I did find something to record I couldn't post it I had no internet to post it so uh, I, didn't, I, I didn't have internet so I didn't make a video that's my excuse um but we're back today and uh yeah we're gonna play we're gonna play we're gonna play we're probably do something hopefully we'll win a match or two we'll see we'll see uh this first this first lobby ain't looking too too uh promising so we'll see but uh sparking zero however is getting closer and closer into our hands and i hope you guys are as excited as i am for sparking zero because honestly after all of the information dropped about what the game was going to have for its roster, I am very excited. Because um, I feel like everything that I want for the base game is here. I think everything that we could have gotten for the base game, this is the best case scenario. This is how I truly feel. I do think this is the best case scenario. I know people are complaining about superhero being a DLC, and I understand that it's that it's that it's a difficulty. It's but considering how much we actually did get for the base game, I'm not exactly concerned about it. Honestly, can you hear me? It's Trunks. The thing about superhero is machine. this is as probably well the smartest supplies. play um, for them financially the because. Then Superhero, I know people are like, oh, Superhero is old enough now. And sure, it is old enough for people to know, oh, maybe we should just put this in our game. But you know what it's not old enough for? It's not old enough to, 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 to stop making money. That's that's the thing. It's not old enough to not make money. Um, that is going to be the point where uh, people stop pawning Superhero off as DLC because... Um, well, Xenoverse had the right to do it because, you know, that game came out a million years ago. Um, Someone. And, uh, but, like, you know, certain things, it's like, I get it. You're but, my savior. Um, unfortunately, I, I just don't think it's, um, I just don't think it's that big of a deal that it's DLC. All right, I'm back. I had to, I had to let my cat out it seems it seems whenever i i start recording my cat decides that he just wants to start whining and whining uh, to get out so i'm like all right i'll let you out um because i don't want to lock him in my room but anyways um yeah i don't i don't think that superhero being dlc is a big deal um i would say that you know i mean i i get it not everyone has you know the funds to to purchase DLCs and such. I know that can be a, a bit of a struggle for some people. But if you're a big Dragon Ball fan, you're probably going to end up getting the Thanks. Deluxe Edition anyways. Well, I guess we technically won this what? game. I guess we technically won because uh, the baby just decided it was, he was cooked and just disconnected. Uh, but you're going to probably get the Deluxe Edition anyways. And you're gonna end up, uh, you're gonna end up getting all of your, you know, DLCs. And Superhero's gonna be the first DLC, anyways. And I don't know. I, I assume the DLC is probably gonna be of like ten dollars. Probably it's probably gonna be like a ten dollar DLC. Although, how much is the deluxe edition actually? I can I can actually look this up right now, and I could tell you probably how much each DLC is gonna end up being. So the deluxe edition is a hundred dollars compared to seventy dollars. So Sparking Zero isn't going to be a seventy dollar game. 
I mean, we, we, you know, the prices have been going up, so it makes sense. So it's a 30 extra dollars. So if that's the case, I assume every DLC is going to be about 12 to 15 dollars. Um, because usually with the um, deluxe edition season pass type deals, you usually get a discount. You usually, you know, buying things in a bundle usually gives you a discount. So if it's thirty dollars, I assume it's going to be like twelve to fifteen dollars. So you're saving money by buying the bundle, or it's not even going to matter, and it's going to be ten dollars each anyways, and you're going to it's, it's thirty no matter what. Um, either or probably works, but um, ten to fifteen dollars is probably what you can expect for the DLCs. Um, and there are three planned. One's going to be superhero. One's going to be diamond. And then the third one's mysterious. I did. I did think that the third DLC was going to be um, GT. I did, but GT's in the game. Um, and then when that happened, I thought DLC 3 was going to be uh, the other stuff that wasn't in the game. But it ended up not being that. So um, I don't know what DLC 3 is going to be. I really don't know. So, um, we'll see what ends up happening. All right, this game's a piece of trash, so I'm going to be right back, and uh, I guess we'll see how much we can do with the next match. I'll see you all in just a moment. All righty. Now that uh, we are back, we can continue um, the talk. So, what could I see for DLC 3? Um, I assume it's going to be a big pack of characters. Now, I did say 20+. plus. Um, I assume DLC pack three, they probably have some ideas, but I, I feel like it's not too, uh, in depth as to what they're working on. I don't even know how far they are. They are into the first two. Um, I assume they're probably working on superhero first. If superhero, I'd say it's possible we could see superhero by January. It's possible it might take a whole year to see superhero. I don't think it'll take too, too long. I don't think it'll take too, too long because I don't think they are going to want to um, keep us waiting too long for, you know, Beast, Gohan, Cell Max, Orange Piccolo. You know, they're probably not going to want to make us wait. And I assume everything from superhero is going to be in this DLC. But the promotion says 20 plus characters. Superhero has can have can range from about 7 to 10 characters. It depends on how, how what they do. Because I assume they're going to make new Gohans and they're going to make a new Gohan and Piccolo. You're going to have Gohan Superhero and then Piccolo Superhero. Um, so I assume it's going to be like base Piccolo Superhero, you know, Awaken and then Orange and then base Gohan Superhero, Super Saiyan Superhero, Ultimate Superhero, and then um, uh, Beast. It is possible that they might have, like, they might just do alternate costumes. But I highly doubt that because one Excellent. thing that I feel like this that Sparking Zero has that the other games don't have is that Excellent. it's been a long time since they've incorporated the whole cinematic Looks experience. Like you might me a little um, while longer. Especially with, like, the transformation sequences and such, right? Um, so... I think that soft the having an epic transformation sequence for Beast would be something that they should do. I think that would be cool. Um, it's all. That's my hope for everything. And then also playing as Cell Max is going to be really fun as well. Um, we'll see how that goes. I don't know what Cell Max is going to do. I mean, I assume it would make I'm sense that you'd have like the big like well laser beam thing, supplies. right? Um, Find the power key. But I feel like that'd be a weird attack to to do, because like he's probably gonna have the laser beam thing. He's probably gonna have like a melee super, and then I and then you know I mean, this might be a, a no duh, but he's probably gonna have the giant death ball. I know he didn't throw it, like he didn't get to throw the giant death ball, but I bet you he's gonna have the giant death ball because I mean, we know that. You know, characters, you know, just because they don't throw a move doesn't mean they won't give it to them in a Dragon Ball game. I mean, Cell Max literally has the move in Dokkan. I mean, okay, well, I guess Baby's cooking. Um, but, you know, like, he has the move in Dokkan. 
Vegito has like the the punch that he failed right against Zamasu now. in the games. You know, you, you know, it's like <laughs> you know, Gogeta. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta's always had 100 times to come at me out, but he didn't actually. I don't think did he actually use it? He did use it, yeah, because he used it and then didn't finish him. So yeah, okay. So I'm just I'm just talking about my ass for that one, but um, that is something that that I feel like is happened for. Oh yeah, and and of course uh, Frieza. Has the uh, you must die by my hand uh, attack, but um, <laughs> we know that that attack didn't exactly land. Yeah, because I mean attacks that don't land you too. Like you know they don't they they give those to everyone too. Because I mean to sell us so they come at me ha, you know, and then you know um, who else? Uh, you know Zamasu's divine wrath, which I actually. Did they show? I don't know if they showed all of Zamasu, like Murd Zamasu's moveset. I kind of hope that he has like he has like a uh, the um someone save me like the divine wrath and shit. I I, those, I, th I think those moves are pretty cool because he doesn't have it in the breakers. The breakers careful, too, Zamasu okay. does not have the uh, the holy wrath like uh, like the, the the spear like the the supernova ball. He doesn't have that in the Breakers, which I think is a missed opportunity. But, I mean, Breakers did so much for Murzamasu that I can't really be upset. As I always say, one thing I will give Breakers to. I will I will give them this. I will let them have it. Breakers did a wonderful job with Goku's life. Um, I know a lot of people were, you know, in and out on terms of his balancing. But I think, um, gameplay-wise, I think Murzamasu was wonderfully done. Bastard! Um, all of Goku Black was wonderfully done. Uh, I, I have no doubt that, that, that Goku Black was done um, to the best of the, their abilities. Dude. Your death will be we're slow. Just, we're gonna tell I'm going here. to torment you until I'm satisfied. <sighs> yeah, that's so that's so. Before you die, All right, well, allow me to show you what we a lost. fully evolved um, couple is truly capable of. Yeah, I, I um, DLC three. Like I, I, it'd have to just be like. <laughs> It'd have to just be filled with a whole bunch of random characters, right? Because, I mean, I don't know what else they could do. Like, Sparking Zero has At long last, has, has given us a lot of the roster. There's a couple come. of things I can think of, right? So, so one thing would be uh, OG Dragon Ball. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of OG Dragon Ball that's not going to be represented. And so I feel like getting that represented would be uh, very important. But on on the other hand, right, um, another thing that I feel like isn't... Um, that, uh, like another thing that we could uh, end up getting would be... Um, collab shit one thing that we don't see dragon ball games really i guess accomplish per se is heroes heroes i feel like is very underrepresented in a lot of dragon ball games so i mean if they wanted to give us heroes shit that'd be cool too but i mean even not just hero stuff a whole bunch of collabs like you know like fighters they could add android 21 they could add uh, one of the Xenoverse, like, uh, custom characters. They could add, um, they could add Shallot. They could add, uh, I don't know, who's, who's, like, the person from, uh, Kakarot? They could add her. There's, there's a lot of different characters that they could add from these different games, like, these different, like, OCs and such. Um, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, this is, uh... I don't even know if I want to even set the power key at this point. Oh, crap. Uh, 
Uh, okay. I'm dead. He's gonna kill me. Go ahead, man. Destroy an area. I don't care. Bro, I'm down here. Like, like legit, I'm down here, bro. The like, I'm time under the water. Ignore the power keys. Get out of there. There's a beacon where the blue light is. You got you SOS? Head that way fast. Oh, we're cooked. We're cooked. He got us. We lost. Go! 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 Go now! And they're gonna blow. Why is it that when I'm Raider, I have to have the most professional <laughs> escape time machine artist I've ever fucking seen? But then, okay. but then when I'm the survivor and someone else gets a hold of that well, shit, they're like, how about we finally do, do, do I about take this? the blast to the face? Do I eat the attack with the time machine? I think I should run into the Raider. So that's great. That's awesome. Glad that they got there before me. That was great. Um, yeah, I don't know. They, they could do some OCs. They could do, and then they could just like cover niche things, right? They could cover very niche things. Like they could do like Fasha or Sanya or, um, I don't, I don't know. Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. I don't know. That'd be cool. Like they could do some what if stuffs too. Like they could bring back Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta and Super Saiyan 3 Broly. They could even do Super Saiyan 4 Broly if they wanted to. They could do, um... What else they could do? I, I mean, here's the thing. Like, they're going to release Daima, right? And I know they're going to release a lot of Daima content. But in reality, there's a lot more things from Daima that we probably will get. Because we don't... I don't... I don't think... They haven't announced how many episodes Daima's going to have. Am I, am I correct on that? I don't... I think... Like, here, I'm looking real quick. But I don't think that Daima has an actual episode count. You know, Daima does not have an episode count. I'm not sure if Daima is going to be a, a like an actual anime season or if it's going to be a consecutive thing. Like is Daima going to be the new super where it just keeps going until it's done? Or is it going to be like a, like a, this is running for like 20 episodes or so and then it's done like like what's it gonna be and i know dragon ball super like the manga is coming back too and i know if they if they got permission to either animate or for the games to just simply do the manga content we'd be eating because we'd have moro we'd have ultra ego we'd have um gas i mean i guess you know that's that's not you know what everyone's hyped for but we'd have we'd have you know um granola we'd have uh frieza we'd have um we'd have so many things from dragon ball super the manga that i think we'd be really excited for but they we don't really we don't really have a lot of these things. I mean, they might even give us more manga original content, like Super Saiyan Goku Black, or, um... There was a thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the Mastered Blue. The Mastered, uh, Super Saiyan Blue. Um, that as well. They might give us that. Um, I think that'd be really cool. But, I, I, I don't know if they're ever gonna have permission to do that, so things like that won't happen. But I think... If anything, that would be really, really cool. And I think that'd make a lot of Dragon Ball fans really hype. But um, other than that, I have no idea what they're going to do for, for the, the third DLC packs. Because, I mean, they covered a lot. They covered a lot in this, in this game. So I'm excited. But, unfortunately, I will be calling it a video because uh, I, I feel like it in that first match uh, did cut out. So, it was it made the video shorter. So, you can blame Breakers for this. But, I will, I, I will sit here and I will leave you all off for the next video.
So I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like in the video and subscribe for more. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.